This is the five ways of classifying programming languages. Four, object-oriented programming languages versus functional or procedural programming languages. So object-oriented programming languages are the ones that have this built inside themselves. So it's easier to create a class and then create an example inside the class. Basically, a class is you want to create, you imagine you have your program, you create a class that is called Cal. Inside that class, you can have an Audi, you can have a Ferrari. What it does, basically, object-oriented programming languages is creates a new layer of abstraction where you can create classes that are ways of classificating things, for example, flowers, and inside those classes, you can define specific members that belong to those. For example, a specific type of flower that belongs to the class of flower. While the functional or procedural programming languages, you have to create these kind of things by yourself, basically. Procedural languages are the ones that came earlier. They are primitive. All object-oriented programming languages are based on this, and they don't bring this facility within the language itself. So will, you will have to create a function and then create this class, so it's way, way more complex. And basically, they go from top to bottom, these procedural languages, and they use functions instead of classes. So you have a function that has to do a task. You're task by task by task doing things. You cannot create objects. 